What's up guys, it's Aaron Nitmar. Welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion. Last time we cleared Area 1, and this time we are basically going to go through Area 2 as much as we can in this video. So, if you guys could hit that like button before we begin, that would be fantastic. And last time we received a key that is just down the hall, or is for the door that is just down the hall. So, let's go ahead and head down that way and see what there is to do inside of that room. See what kind of ghosts we can grab and what kind of mice we can't run into while we're down there because I'm, I'm always running into mice and bats and stuff. So, let's go ahead and come over here, open up this door, and head on inside. And this is the ballroom, so we've got these ghost shy guys to actually suck up. So basically what you want to do is suck up their masks, and at that point they will be visible for you to uh, to flash them with the flashlight and their heart will appear. It won't appear if you try and flash them before. So, you just need to suck up both of their masks. And it's pretty easy to grab both of them if you line yourself up properly and suck both their masks up around the same time. It's uh, really easy to get both at once. Unfortunately, this is really the only time we get to see these shy guys, uh, the shy guy ghosts, and you don't get a rank for it. So, the, the cool way you can suck up their... Uh, their masks at the same time really doesn't help you out rank wise but uh... it's still pretty cool that you can grab them both at the same time uh... just because just of the way it works out and i think there's one more pair no there's not but now the gallery ghost couple appears and obviously we can't see them so let's go ahead and see what their hearts say see what first i guess i got the woman first so you can see me well that may be but you will never find my weakness Alright, now let's see what the other one says. I think we targeted the woman, so here we go. Let's see what the man says. Nope. Unless they're both the same. Let's see what the woman says then. Well, I totally... I totally didn't target that properly. Go, get him. No, come on, get him. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Alright, alright. This is like reverse from what I'm used to. Oh no, it's gonna... Target on the chair. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh, come on, man. Come on, man. I can't target them. Well, there we go. Got him. I had to... I don't think this gent can even see us. Alright. So, there's really no clue given to us by the Game Boy Horror. So, we really did nothing. I guess it's just one of those ones where we have to wait. Let me see. Sometimes, sometimes you literally just have to sit there and wait. There's really nothing you can do. See, oh, he just appeared. Come on, man. Come on, bruh. When are you gonna appear? You gotta appear some sometime. I've captured you in the past. How how you should just appear. Come on. Let's call for Mario, see if that'll help. Right, I'm gonna just face this way and see if or when they will appear. There we go. I have no idea what I just did. I guess we've got to walk, like, on the path that they're on? I, I really don't know what I did to trigger their heart. And I, I guess that means I have no idea what I've done in the past to trigger their heart. But, at any rate, we caught him. Him and her. They're actually, like, one gallery ghost entity at the same time. I guess because true love never dies. But uh, I seriously have no idea. I just started walking on this checkered thing that was spinning and they sort of appeared conveniently. I didn't even need to flash them with the flashlight. I could just start sucking their heart. So I have no idea. But there we go. We got ourselves a key and I believe it opens the door in the room we're in. Yes, it does. So let's go inside of this room and see what there is to do. The lights are off. So that means we got to catch a couple more ghosts. A couple more common ghosts. I should... Ah! Uh, uh. Sometimes I like, I aim the, I sort of preemptively start using the vacuum because I think I like stun them when I really don't. Which really sucks when you're trying to, to capture them because then they will just, no, 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 no. See, I did it again. I did it again. I do it when I like, I think they get stunned and then they don't really get stunned and then I just take damage for it. So I need to not do that. Oh, there's two of them here. I'm going to like just stop. Oh, I stopped the wrong one. I stopped the wrong one. Alright, let go of me. There we go, there we go. Okay, that was perfect. I don't think he took any damage, or maybe one damage, because I did have 83 and now I had 82. Alright, but there's really nothing you can do in this room, so to speak. But luckily, this mirror is 
just conveniently placed that you can see that there's a switch there on the wall that is actually invisible for us. So go ahead and press it. And here's what happens. Look at this. There is a, a, a room inside of this room. What? That is insane. Totally insane. Ba -na 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 -na. And so now we can explore this end, but really there's nothing more to do here. But there's a danger sign. And we can't really do anything to that except suck it up because you're supposed to examine and suck pretty much everything in this game. So let's press this button. What's it do? Luigi just has no concern for what buttons do. Let's just press things. Oh my gosh. Who's there? Who dares disturb our sleep? Oh, it's Luigi. Look, guys. Luigi's finally here. We're going to do to you what we did to your brother. Only worse. What's on his back? It's Egan's Walter Gus 3000. Everybody scram. Oh. Oh, man, that was a close one. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I gotta do it every time. Luigi, are you okay? That was them. Those were the ones who released all the ghosts from the paintings in my gallery. Those fiends. I wondered where King Boo and his gang had gone. So, they were hiding in the mansion all along. Thanks for flushing them out, Luigi. I'm tickled you found them, but perhaps it would have been better if you hadn't. Well, let every single one of them escape. Just a thought. Ah oh, well, water under the bridge. Anyway, you should probably come back to the lab for a sec. Alright, so let's go. Back to the lab in a nice flash of white. I've been waiting for you, young Luigi. Your brother must have been taken by that gang of booze. Poor feller. Oh now, don't talk crazy. They're not gonna eat the man. But what became of him, hmm? Odd that he hasn't come back. Common theory holds that booze grow in strength when they travel in numbers. They must somehow combine their powers too. Their power likely overwhelmed your brother. If your aim is to save Mario, there's but one way to do it. Capture each Boo and slowly weaken the group's power. Oh, that sounds great. But Boos, as their name implies, like to hide and then jump out to scare people. You've got your work cut out finding them. <laughs> don't get all down in the Don't get all down in the mouth? What does that mean? That Game Boy Horror I gave you is a secret function. I knew it would come in handy one day, so I developed it secretly. I call it the Boo Radar. The Boo Radar will flash red when something round like a Boo hit is hidden nearby. Use it to search everywhere, Luigi. Alright, so we've got ourselves a radar. Alright now, Sonny, don't go tuckering yourself out. Relax and just try to get those Boos one at a time. The trick is using the control stick and C stick together. Don't forget now. Where will you go, Luigi? Oh, okay. So let's head back to the mansion because now we've got some fantastic booze to capture. Because you'll notice we didn't receive a key, so we really have nowhere new to go. So basically, sorry, I had to like swallow. So basically, the uh, whole concept of booze is that there's going to be one hidden in basically every room. Hallways don't have booze, but pretty much every room marked on the map as its own room uh, is going to have one. So we can come here to previous rooms we've encountered and we can actually find booze. And you'll notice that on the Game Boy Horror, the, there's a little light on top now, which is blue. When you enter a room that has a boo, it will immediately change to yellow. And so as you walk around, you will find that it's going to flash. And when it becomes pretty much solid red, you're going to want to uh, pretty much in interact with whatever is closest to you. So let's go ahead and hit this chair here. Nope, nothing there. How about this table? There it is. But he threw a bomb at us. So basically, like the professor said, anything around is going to be detected by the Game Boy Horror. So occasionally we'll have beach balls that are like booze hidden inside of objects. And occasionally we'll have bombs just like that. But let's go ahead and search around here. And, uh, are you in the fireplace? Or you're probably in the pirate ship. Alright, here we go. And now basically, booze all have their own puns. So this one is named Taboo. And basically, when you are trying to capture booze, they aren't going to be like regular ghosts that will pull you and suck you with them. Uh, they're basically just going to try and get away. And so basically, you can sort of walk around them and try and, you know, influence the direction that they're going. Uh, but they're never going to actually push you um, or like pull you away. So that's how you can take advantage of the boo and sort of get behind it and get a, get a jump on it and capture it. So uh, that one was pretty easy and I was sort of explaining the puns and their names, but these are, they've all got some pretty decent puns. Some are worse than others, some are better than others. All right, you must be in the bed. Oh no, a bomb, all right. How about in here? How about in here? Nope, where are you hiding? You're in this bedside table? There you go, there you are, all right. So as you can see, 
We're not being pulled at all. The boo is basically just sort of trying to escape us, and it can sort of go with the flow or against the flow of our vacuum suction strength. So, uh, it, it's, it, it's a bit different, but it's a good, like, step away. We're not, it's just not, it's not just another ghost to catch. It has a, a unique way to, uh, to go about catching it, both finding it and catching it. Uh, you'll notice at the bottom that we have two out of 50 currently. I will be getting all 50 boos, which can be a task when you're, like, trying to track down that one last one. But I'm gonna do it, because why not? Why not? Alright, so here we go. This is Turbo, and off he goes. So a really good way to capture boos is to sort of walk around them in a circle because they basically will go in the opposite direction of your uh, poltergust, just like any other ghost. But because they're not pulling you, you can sort of, like I said, influence the direction in which they're going. And so you can actually sort of make them stay in the same spot by circling around them. It's a lot more... You know, just sort of figuring out the best way to catch boos at the time. And sometimes boos are way too uh, complicated to try and capture. And sometimes you'll have to, uh... No! Oh, I thought that was going to be a, a beach ball. Wait, no, no, come here, come here, come here. Alright, don't do that, don't do that. Uh, so it's sort of just like sort of learning the habits of the boos. And, you know, figuring out the best way for you to capture them. For me, sometimes standing still is the best way. And then, like I said, circling around them is a very good way as well. And we've only got one more boo I think we can actually try. No, we've got a couple more. we got a couple more. I think what we need to do is get five. I think that's what the game wants us to specifically do. I walked by that one just a second ago and it did. All right, here's a boo beach ball. And we can just launch this out of wall and it disappears. So here we go. And they'll basically always go for the center of the room. So you can sort of get a jump on them to, uh, no. To, uh, to sort of start... Capturing them as soon as possible, as immediately as possible. So, uh, boos really aren't that complex. You've already found five boos! You're a boo snaring maniac! I understand you're worried about your brother, young feller, but just take it easy. You have plenty of time still, so try keeping your shirt on. Why not go to the washroom and splash some water on your face? You'll feel much better, believe you me! And this is now the cue to show us that on the th third floor... On the second floor, just above us. This room right here was actually... The one, the, uh, all right, I'll, I mean, I'll show you in a second, but we, we're, I'm gonna go get one more boo while we're here. Uh, it's now unlocked, so we can actually progress through the mansion a bit more. I have no idea why it was locked before, and why those words decided to make it unlocked, but regardless, here we go. Oh, uh, another, I, I knew it was gonna be another beach ball, but you gotta be ready just in case. All right, come here. All right, oh no, oh, we were so close to him. Uh, so boos are basically going to try to escape to other rooms, and so basically you can sort of chase after them by going to the room they went to. Uh, boos are weaker in light, obviously, than they wouldn't be in dark, so if they go into a dark room, uh, they're going to be much harder to capture. Their HP, I guess, will go down much slower than if they were inside of a light room, because as you can tell in light rooms, they are really, really, their HP goes down really, really quickly, but if they're in a dark hallway, or in a dark room that you haven't visited before, or gotten all the ghosts out of, or anything like that, you really are going to have a difficult time, It's and then at that point, it's better to just sort of try and bait them into going into a light room, so you can easily capture them, because that's a point where it can be really annoying trying to track down what room they are in if they make it to a different room. But here we go, let's head to the washroom. And we will, we will splash some water on our face. Hey, what are you doing here in the bathroom, young feller? I, I, I dropped a really important thing into the toilet. I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it, come on man, it's okay. Hey, you're right, no point crying over spilt milk. I suppose I'll just flush that old worry away. Yep, I'll just let it swirl on down the depths and let happiness refill my life. Hooray! Alright, so let's see what's in the toilet that he dropped. Ah, oh, key! I mean, you could have just done that and the key would have been in your hand again. Although, now it's been in the toilet and now it's in our hand. So that's pretty disgusting. But here we go, let's leave and head down to that room. That room is actually a rather important room regarding, you know, the overall game. So it's gonna be cool to experience that room for ourselves for the first time. Ever. So here we go. Let's un unlock it and head on inside. So let's go ahead and examine this here thing. What a lovely crystal ball. You know, these give out such a beautiful glow when light shines on them. I wonder if my flashlight would work. So let's go ahead and try it. Well, I guess sort of the flashlight and the Game Boy. 
horror are sort of linked when you're in this first person view, but it makes this ghost appear. So let's go ahead and speak to her. What do you seek of me? Who are you? I am Madame Clairvoya, seer of dropped items. Possessions of other people awaken vibrations in my spirit. If you find someone's dropped items, you should bring them to me. I will show you the extent of my vision. So let's go ahead and do that when we find dropped items. Keep that in mind. But let's have her tell us the future. Oh, um, no, I feel no spiritual vibrations right now. Alright, well, you're a sham, so let's head inside. Well, let's check inside here first. Nothing. Alright, let's head inside this door. And it locked right behind us. Cool, of course it did. So, now we've got some ghosts to fight, and they are invisible! Get away from us, man. So, we're basically gonna have to use the mirror behind us to tell where they are and flash the light on them. So, we don't get taken from behind and lose our HP. This can be confusing a little bit because it's kind of hard to tell whether they're in front of you or behind you in the quick moment when you have to decide, but uh, not too bad because if anything, you can just let them... Oh, no, 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 no. If anything, you can just let them grab you. They can do that and find out where they are. All right, he disappeared. That's good. At least he's not going to interrupt this fight or this capture. All right, you're right behind us. No problem. There we go. And I think this is the last one. Should be anyway. Nope. I think one more then. One. There, we, there you are. Oh, I lied. Two more. No, 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 you're, you're there. Stop. No, why you do this to me? Why you do this to me? Come on, man. I shook you off. You should be able to shake off and suction at the same time. There we go. Now that's all of them. And so, let's go ahead and open up this treasure chest and see what there is inside. You can also hear that laugh. That means there's a boo in here. You can also further tell that by our Game Boy Horror. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Hey now, Luigi, what have you found there? Let's take a look at that. And he's... Oh, I just realized he's barely in view there. Oh, ah, it's... A fire element metal. Now you can use the fire element. Yes, sir. With that, you can catch fire elemental ghosts. Hmm, what's a fire elemental, elemental ghost, you ask? Hey, stop, try, stop trying to take my job, man. So basically, whenever there is fire around us, sometimes there will be ghosts inside of it. As you can tell by what we're about to do here. And you basically, you can suck up the ghost. And remember how I explained you can expel using L instead of sucking using R? Well, you can use that with the fire element and spray out fire. So you can do this to do this to light things like torches or candles. And you can also click down immediately and launch out a big old fireball. So boom, boom. And you can see we now have a meter there, which means our bottom section of the screen is entirely filled. And so to escape this room, you guess that we're going to have to light all the candles Zelda style. So, let's light the right side and the left side, and now the room is unlocked. But, last thing, let's go ahead and grab this Boo before we go. Feel the wrath of Kung Boo! Don't tell me how to, what to do. I prefer karate, not Kung Fu. I mean Gung Boo. I mean Kung Boo. There we go. So there we go, we got ourselves seven boos. Fantastic. And that is going to be it for this episode of Luigi's Mansion. Thank you all so much for watching. Now we can burn this mansion to the ground, and that's how we'll save Mario. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, do not forget to hit that like button. And as always, I will be back here for some more Luigi's Mansion next time. I just realized fire isn't showing up in the reflection. That's pretty wonky, man. Must be the magic of the mansion. The magic of the mansion. I don't know what I'm talking about. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.